suspect is now in custody after barricading inside for hours. This has been unfolding in the middle of Everett on Pacific Avenue and Wetmore Avenue. Fox 13's Matthew Smith is there. Matthew, this all started around 1230. It's good to know it just ended, but the last several hours, that's been pretty tense for a lot of people in the area. What's the latest? Well, David, uh, you and Jamie know uh, is better is better than anyone. Uh, when you have a situation like this, hours in, you just don't know which way it's going to go. The fact that this person turned himself in, the fact that no one was injured, is pretty amazing, especially when you consider how this unfolded. I've been talking to the people that were inside the building as that man rushed in there. At first, they didn't think anything was strange, and one guy thought, hey, maybe he's bringing in the gun to get some kind of a license. He didn't know how that type of thing worked, but as the person started arguing with security, he looked down and realized it wasn't just the gun on his back, he was holding one in his hands. It was pretty overwhelming. All of this happening so fast. Deputy, state police, even the ATF converging on the Snohomish County Courthouse. It's definitely a very sobering feeling to see, um, you know, countless officers running up with riot shields and rifles and, you know, everything, and we're all being ushered away. Sam is a paralegal. She and these folks, jurors, were all rushed away after a gunman entered the building. He just said, I'm not putting my guns down and you can't make me. And about the time they told them we don't want to hurt you and we don't want you to get hurt, I was gone. Tyson Avery was next to the metal detector when the man came in. Uh, this video was actually taken by him after he'd run away and hid in a nearby room. That's when he called his wife. Uh, she's just glad to know that I'm out of the building. The sheriff's office not saying much yet, uh, other than that they were able to take the suspect in without any injuries. Uh, Tyson was one of the few people who saw it all unfold, noting the gunman drawing so much attention was actually wearing a bulletproof vest, holding a rifle, and had another one on his back. He never even tried to get through the metal detectors. He stayed in the lobby. He just stood right in front of the lobby. It's definitely um, overwhelming when you see, you know, the bomb squad pull up. As for what caused all this, we're still waiting to figure out. And Sam telling me she's just grateful that everyone that was there is okay. I'm not gonna lie, I was I was really scared for them. I mean, I see these security people almost every day. I'm friends with them. Um, I mean. They're the best, and so just to know that someone went in there and threatened their lives is really, it's, it's really sad. If you were paying attention to that video that we captured all of about an hour and a half ago, you could see inside the lobby. That's where the man was. He wasn't visible, but you could see the officers, guns drawn, pointed in his direction. A very strange situation. Now, I did ask uh, the P public information officer with the sheriff's office, uh, what was it that eventually made this person turn themselves in? She didn't give details on what was said, but she said negotiations three plus hours in, he did eventually turn himself in. So he is now in custody. We're still awaiting official details on what charges are being brought, but obviously a lot of people relieved after 50 plus police and officers, deputies and more rushed out here. Jurors spent hours on the street trying to figure out whether or not they were ever going to be let back in. The news on that, and not tonight. Things should be back underway tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see what caused that man to get inside, though. Investigators say they're still looking into it. We're live in Everett. Matthew Smith, Fox 13 News.